Hello and welcome. Continue to work on the app. Um, I configured my stuff now in a different way. We have here now our um, development environment. So if we go here, then it's the screenshot and all the images we uploaded. And um, the good thing is that now we can get basically the error from the backend. So we can understand why he's complaining. And um, in order to better to have a better debug experience, I installed Reactotron. <coughs> we basically have all the features we all, uh, also would get in a web app. Um, we, can, we see our network connections and actions and stuff like that. And in general, it just looks nicer. So, all right, let's get started. Um, yeah, I, I <laughs> this time I set up everything a bit differently. Um, yeah, Android. So I just record the screen, but like a very small portion of it, and that's the setup. Um, and now I can easy, um, more easily switch between tabs, and you can also see something. Um, not gonna lie, it's a bit cramped, right? So everything is very small, and as you can see everything gets scaled up a lot so if we go here it's huge huge so i'm going to scale this down so as you can see okay maybe also a bit smaller right so as you can see we have our app here um please go back and um then we have here our um Reactotron, and if we now go from A to B, all right, it somehow doesn't react. But it is written in React. Yeah, okay. Bad joke of the day. <coughs> so, uh, all right, he's still generating the app. Still don't used to it. Um, Yeah, React Native is like pretty interesting, right? You, you would think that they would go all the way with the debugger here, but it's only the console.log, and that's not very helpful. Um, and I think we will just use React to Tron, to be honest. So let's go back to our app. Uh, here we go. And now we can see, okay, we changed the tab. And. Um, Let's go here and now you can see, okay, we get API responses um, and we also get a timeline of it and we can see the state. I, I didn't set this up yet, but we could see the state. I don't think that it, that's uh, that important for today. And why, please, like I don't get why it lags so much, the React Native emulator. Uh, this is like quite a bad developer experience, but we can <coughs> do the good old reload R. And now, yes, that should work. Let's go back to Reactotron and our app. Can I now click on stuff? Yes, I can click on stuff. Amazing. And now we also see like everything. And if we go here, we have here our, our um, right here, our get API token, no, like this thing. And that's a 404, um, but I was looking for album date, right? We get a 500. And um, that's obviously wrong. But the thing is, we are in production mode, so we only get like a, hey, server error back. We don't get like an explanation why. So that's why I have here my laptop and <laughs> I have set up the dev environment. So now we just have to switch the servers and um, then we're fine. Uh, 168.172.24. No. 
one six eight or okay, one eight eight. All right. <coughs> One six eight one eight eight. Okay, not twenty four, but twenty eight. Come on, yes. Okay, and log in. All right. So now we're in again, and now I will do the same thing. We go on with timestamps. It complains. Now we go up here, right, and we get a 500 response, and we get a lot of stuff that I can't really read. And also, like, it doesn't scale it <laughs> right. Um, attribute error at pick album date serializer. Okay, so <coughs> I guess I have to check out that on my laptop so let's scroll down scroll down some more i get a lot of rq things so internal server error api album state photo hash list so um, attribute error pick album date serializer object test new attribute context so we want that um, our request has a context attached to it. And um, we started like with pagination, right? So you get like the first page or the second page and stuff like that. And uh, we changed that on the album date serializer. Um, yeah, so I think we just have to send a page for it to work. But I think we should just refactor that to the new thing, right? So let's see, let's go to, this is a really janky setup, man. <laughs> um, I still have to like figure out how the developer experience is going to work because like nobody's going to develop the app if it's like that, like, <laughs> oh yeah, you need a laptop with Linux, but you also need a Windows computer to run an Android simulator, like what? Okay, so let's see, album, actions, album, date, right, so, so at first you want to fetch the list, right, the empty list. And that was called do, 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 album date list, right? All right, so let's load album date list instead, instead of photo hash list. <coughs> All right, let's go to, and we also don't need to lock stuff any longer, right? We don't have to do a console lock because we just see what we want to see. All right, so now we have this album date list, save. And uh, now you should reload, to be honest. Or does he automatically reload? That would be nice. So let's see. All right, we got a Photoshop now timestamp list. That's not really what I want. All right, with timestamp works. So we now have basically <coughs> um, all the things, but it's, there are no images in it. <coughs> so that's, that's good. That's really good. Um, right, so we got the response. <coughs> Each day also has like number of items, right? So now we just have to create empty number of items. So, right, let's see. We had in LibrePhoto front end for that uh, Docker file, LibrePhotos. Um, we had like this function, right? In Util, I think, to just create stuff. 
uh, util.ts. All right, adjust date format for single group, adjust date format. Right, here we go, add temp elements to group. So that's something we can now use, which is nice. Let's copy that. Um, yeah, in general, because we have like a React app and a React Native app, there has to be some way to share the code, right? <coughs> that, that, that's a long-term issue, obviously. But I think that would be nice to like have some packages that we could just import and then we have all the functions we need. Like for example with this thing. Um, all right, copy. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. So we have our photo mapper. So let's see what it does. <coughs> right, um, we have an ID, we have a title and we have an image grid reducer interesting and we put the items dot item dot items there okay so I think I'm going to, to just put the function here and <coughs> we get <coughs> basically um, a group of incom incomplete date photo groups and this also thing like we don't import all the types now um, just yet so the general idea is before we start working on this save oh um, yeah I also have to do something different um, I have to install prettier because I haven't installed that yet and ESLint I kind of forgot that last time um, and <laughs> the build timeline is very strict um, on the app so it doesn't build if you have like one linting error which is good I think I should stick to that um, seems like a valid thing all right so now he's complaining and stuff that's great um, I want to open my settings.json .json right and then I want to have my settings get auto fetch true all right and then I have also editor uh, format on save right and that's true here we go so if I now save it should work replace group with group okay so that there are a lot of linting errors I guess uh, save. Oh, come on. Um, yeah. Delete CR. Uh, okay. Because I'm on Windows, I guess. So save. Um, man, the lint is really extreme right now. Quick fix. Yeah, that doesn't work for Windows, I guess. Um, right. Okay, I will look into it. Now I get sidetracked. Try setting end of line auto. There's always a setting for that. Uh, in prettier RC or prettier RC JSON. Um, right. Okay, I just have to set that down here. LF. Haha, so that's working. Awesome. Extra semicolon. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. Okay, save. Okay, cool. So now we have the add, uh, add temp elements to group, which is nice. Um, so we can pick that. So if we get a photo result thing, then const x photo results. 
equals I think I only have to do that right because he add, adds the to himself so save it, save it that like that right so yeah we don't return anything it just mani man manipulates the groups so okay so now we should see something different here I don't know if he likes that out with timestamps hey and let's see so now we have basically empty images that we cannot see and it's like spaced in the correct way which is nice so now we just have to load when it's visible so that's going to be an interesting issue because i've never ever ever worked with that it's a bit bright all right so um I mean, we, we, we're making really good progress today. I wouldn't have thought that it's that easy <laughs> once I get it running. Um, right, so now we have photo map and then we have the image grid reducer. Photos by date. So, I guess we're going back now here then we have like a return thing. Oh man, he's complaining a lot about this. Save. Okay. Um, so we're now looking for um, who calls fetch by date, right? So fetch by date. And then we have like a store album thingy. Okay, cool. I save. All right. Um, so we basically save all our data here. Then we have our build slides thing. I don't know what that does. And then we have a reducer. So that's basically the store, right? So that's also fine. Uh, so I think we're going to look for album store add store album I don't know um, right so I have to think a bit so while we are while I'm thinking I think I can just Add this, I guess. Because that's more or less correct. Stage changes. Um, so let's do git commit. Right. Now I can see the cutting edge editor. Um, change to the new API change photos by edge by date to the new API All right and close all right so me and now I just have to figure out who is calling fetch album stuff Oh man, come on. I really have to figure out how to do that. Um, okay. So let's set that auto CRLF false sounds about right. Um, so I still have the console log here. Interesting. Thought I deleted that. Um, anyway, 
gallery list, I think. Does that sound right? Populate photos. Okay. Build slice. I don't know what that means, man. Gallery list populate photos. All right. So l let's just check out what he does, right? So go to timeline. Um, so we got no timestamp, no timestamp, no timestamp. He's really freaking out because of that. <laughs> so let's do this. Album date list, right? So we get an API response. That's cool. And um, I guess so now he's not doing anything, which is also interesting. Uh, <laughs> interesting. But the server's still up and running, right? Reload. I don't get why it's sometimes so flaky. So let's go back to no, yes, reload. <coughs> so that worked, I guess. <coughs> Timeline no activity, nice, and then Android. Okay. Could you please show me? Okay, not what I wanted. <coughs> Reloading app. Okay, I still have to figure out where it loads the stuff. So we have timeline photos, we have grid photos. Okay, that's somehow different. Interesting. Gallery list, populate photos, okay. Last loaded grid, last loaded timeline. Now we have an index.js, no, save. Um, <coughs> components, that sounds good, image grid, Okay, so handle image press, handle image to load, update token, handle zoom change, okay. <coughs> so these are just the images without the dates, I guess. And then we have the timeline list, which is probably the same thing, <coughs> but a bit different. Right, uh, no timestamp moment, okay, and then text. Right, we also have like to somehow import all the translations into here. Uh, image grid, section data slice, okay. So what he's basically doing is rendering the head and then the list below that. And then I want to, then we have like the section list. Right on refresh. And that's a React Native, okay, section list. Um, permanent interface for rendering sectioned lists supported 
spotting the most handy features example right that sounds good this is a convenient wraparound virtual list and those are intelligence point from scroll view pure component render item key extractor reference Okay. Okay, so we have an on-check viewable items, which is nice. Um, right. So I'm just going to steal that. Let's go back to React. <coughs> right. Um, let's put this down up here. Let's go back here. Uh, no, please don't open that. And then we have like these things. Let's hope that it works, right? Um, Yeah, that doesn't belong there, it belongs here. Save. Um, right, and then we just call name that a const. So that should work. You want single quotes, I guess. Okay. Why are you complaining? Trailing space is not allowed, okay. Um. Right. Uncheck viewable items is not used, why? It's basically here. That's weird. Okay, maybe I don't need the this then. So that also works. Yes. Okay, so instead of console.lock, we do robotron.lock, I guess. Robotron, uh, Reactotron, Reactotron, right? So, and then we can lock that. That's nice. Okay. So, let's see if our app actually started up. No. I'm still here. I don't want that. Thanks. Can I please see the app? Okay. Right, index.js loaded, welcome to Libre Photo Mobile, thanks. So now we get this, and now I go here, and then I get a debug. Five visible items, one, two, three. Okay, it's, it's really aggressive about that, I like that. Um, so, so that means that that's going to work what I have in mind. Um, Very nice. So, a bit easier, a bit easier than <laughs> on React, right? But I still have to look up if this actually uh, behaves the way I think it will. 
Um, so set items persist. Yeah, that all, all doesn't matter right now. What I want is um, the very, very cool things I programmed in source. Oh, I also have to add Dutch translations to the settings because he started um, translating that. And he can obviously not see that, but he also hasn't written anything yet in the Discord, so I kind of forgot. Uh, layouts reduces util. I want to go to layouts, and then I want to go to photos, then timestamp photos. And then we have our very cool um, use effect thing. Wait. Right, I'll get album thing, yeah, here we go. So that's just the one thing and that's the other thing. All right, so I'm going to steal that. Right, so let's go. I okay. Remove that any don't need that any longer. Okay. I kind of want that he auto fixes that to be honest. So then we have a set group thing. Right, so let's go back to. Ba, 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 ba. Set group, and then we're going to steal that. Uh, let's go here. Right. So we haven't imported that yet. Let's import that. Okay, I now <laughs> want the autofix thing. Autofix linter. Uh, yes, and then I want that in Visual Studio Code. All right. Um, how to enable linting on save? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Adding rules. I want that he. Yes, ESLint fix all autofix problems. That's what I want. Okay, cool. Copy and paste, and then I use this settings. Save. So now it should work, I think. No, he still doesn't want to do that. Um, right, so we have a use effect. Use effect is not defined, but okay. Use effect. Right, so that's now fixed. This patch is not something we use currently, I think. Um, right, and then we need the fetch album date thing.
So, and I want to check out how the thing looks. Right, so where's our debug? Here we go. That's index is viewable item. All right, so a lot of information we need actually gets cleaned out, which isn't great. Um, so I kind of have to work on that. Um, right, towards end. Why is, it, is this underlined? Missing radix, okay, I don't care. Group. Groups already declared. Um, yeah, no. Get albums. All right. So the general idea would be okay. Please call get albums if you see visible groups, right? So that would be something like that. Um, right, and then we set the group, and that will create automatically a fetch. And um, yeah, so it's basically the page and the ID. And the thing is that the ID currently gets it's kind of broken. So right, and then I need to also fetch album date with the dispatch, I guess. So let's see. Data mapper, yes, and then we have store. That's also fine. Photos, no. Navigator, still don't get where I find everything, to be honest. Config, container, container? No, it's not a container. Navigator, save as services. Index, no. Photo, here we go, fetch photos, right. Um, but that's in albums, I guess. Oh man, I don't find anything. Here we go, fetch my album, fetch by date, so here we go. So now he uses like a lot of like um, things that we usually don't use. So I guess I have to learn a lot about that. Build async reduces. We do not want to modify some item by default, right? Um, Okay, so I will copy and paste that, and I will call that, I don't know, because I need to take a short break. All right, see you in a second.
All right, I'm back. So let's build up everything we need. So let's go to Libre Photos frontend, right? And then we go to source, actions, album actions. And um, then I want Album date list, right? That's not what I want. I want the other thing, fetch album date, right? So, <coughs> let's copy that and let's paste that here. So, that's basically our action, right? So Fetch album date. I will call that the same thing. Fetch album date JS. Thanks for that. So we have basically our async function here. That's fine. Um, right. I kind of need the, this option object, right? So. How the heck arcs? Okay, so I will just assume that we can add this by doing arcs, right? So options equals arcs dot options, right? Something like that. <coughs> Then we fetch our our stuff here. Um, to call something, we use return API, I guess. So let's do that here too. And then we have a then. And that's the whole Zots thing we have. That's something we have to implement later, right? So let's do that here. Just date format for single group, that's not needed. Uh, we don't need to dispatch something. Right, so we, st we, we have to dispatch something because here we have to basically um, replace temp group with um, fetch group, right? So that's important. And we have like a catch. I don't need that. And um, I don't think that I need that any longer. Save. Okay. Um, options dot page. Options is not defined, but I have defined options here. Const. Right. So that's good. Um, photo set type is not defined. Dispatch. That's also not defined. That's correct. Photo mapper is not a thing we use currently. That's true. So store, 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 where is it? So that's basically a store, right? Um, Redux toolkit wrapper. To 
actions working on the same store. Redux toolkit. Yes, we have set this up. Configure store, right? Reducers are the most important Redux component. A typical reducer needs blah blah blah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right, I want this update value thingy. Um, create action. So maybe I only have to add a new case or something? I don't know. Redux toolkit wrapper, right? So Redux toolkit isn't really what I wanted to look up. <coughs> okay, so let's see some documentation. <coughs> I mean, less code is always good, I guess. Usage, right. So, build async state, create a loading and error state. You can scope it in a key. Okay, fetch one, loading, error, false. <coughs> Okay, but how do I use it the normal way? Slice. Okay, so we have a name, we have initial state, we have a reducer. Okay. Functor, the initial state, an object of reducer function, then a slice name automatically generates action creators and action types that correspond to the reducer state. They face the standard approach for writing Redux logic. Internally, it uses create action and create reducer, so you may also use image to write mutating immutable updates. All right, I have <coughs> exactly zero idea what they're talking about, um, but that's fine, I guess. Okay. This is very stupid. Th that's that's like a classical case for me to, um, yeah, it's just a classic case of, hey, we thought we make something easier, but they really didn't. <laughs> because they, uh, they just invented new words for stuff that already existed and made everything more complicated. <coughs> so, right. Build async reducers. Uh, go to definition. So that's basically all like the standard. Okay, it's loading, it's not loading stuff, that's fine. But I want to manipulate the state, right? So let's go, let's look up fetch by date. Fetch by date. Okay, so container gallery fetch right. 
So then we also have a store album, and that's basically our slice initial state, all right? And we have a build slice map function. Okay, so, and build slice was basically the thing we have to use to manipulate something. So somehow we know that we put fetch by date things in album by date. So I have to figure out how they're doing that. Okay, so because we have here this reducer thing. Very cool. So what we want to do now is we also work on album by date. That's correct. I don't need that any longer. Um, we just want to replace this, right? And um, I want to modify something with this action, right? So that's something I want to do. Uh, photo set type favorites. I think I'm just going to import that because we will need that later. Um, here we go. So let's see if I need actually TypeScript for that or not. Auto album photo set type. Right, here we go. Okay, I can click on that. It's sad. Uh, reduces photo reduces. Okay, reduces photo reduces. Okay, and then I want the export enum photo set type. Okay, very cool. So I copied that. And then I will go to here. I will put this into, I don't know, store, gallery, user. I think album would be a fine thing to add this new file. Photo set type dot js. Right, so export enum, that works fine. Oh no, we, all <laughs> we, we only can use this when we use TypeScript, and that's not something I want to do right now. <coughs> okay, so I have to make it ugly, I guess. Not a fan, not a fan. Okay, so I fixed that, that's good. I don't need that any longer. Why are you complaining? Okay, whatever. Don't care right now. Photo set type, delete, yes. Okay, very cool. I don't need that any longer, I think. Save. Okay, so now we have our very, very cool fetch album date thing. And uh, that that's basically, that works basically like that, right? So we just do a return date photos group, right? And we will not simplify that yet because we will probably do some type checking later. So that works great. And now I just have to define my reducer here. Um, so reducer album fetch. Patch auto album list, auto album retrieve, set idx to image hash, 
peu, 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 peu. Where is it? Oh, I think I've put that into photos. I'm not really sure why, but I just did. So let's see, photo state. Here we go. Fetch no timestamp photo. No, that's not what I want. Fetch photo set. Right. That's also not what I want. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Here we have the date list. Here we go. Here, here it is. Fetch date albums retrieve fulfilled. Right, so that's basically what I want to do, which is like we don't have like this photos flat thing, so we don't need that, but we still have to manipulate the other thing. Um, all right, so react somehow I have to paste that in here. I will get key and then we have function. Save. <coughs> so, case. I don't need that, I guess. Okay, so. Let's see. How oh, that's going to work. Uh, close, close, close. React tool to the re Redux toolkit wrapper. Um. Right, so he basically has a couple of things. So we have our action that we can define as a function, right? We have that. Um, and then we want to also build the reducer. Arrow key, loading key, option if you scope variables, you can use the key with the dot notation. Right, so example, the name of the slice, array of all modules, slice initial state. Okay, I don't know what that means. I just want to ref define my reducer function. Doesn't seem really easier, to be honest. Okay, so we have our item key. And then we want to define the function. Right. Like that, I guess. So I think I will just steal that and we'll call that a different. I will call that a function, to be honest. const uh, reducer function. Right, save. Um, so, and here I need Okay, and then my stupid idea would be that I just put that in here. Right, and the uh, action payload page. Right, 
and then we have a state which is also not true yeah i don't <coughs> i don't know how to work on that to be honest it's a bit weird bit weird fetch my album fetch by date all right so we have boot slice maybe i have to do something with boot slice i don't get it to be honest Modify state. Right now, I don't know what exactly the benefit is of this toolkit wrapper, to be honest. It's a bit annoying. Because <laughs> it doesn't make it obvious how to modify the state, right? And that's the essential thing you have to do with Redux. So, Redux. Yeah, so what does that even mean, man? That's the initial state, all right. <coughs> album, right, so that's the whole album state, I get that. That's the initial state. We get that by adding this key, so we do that. But the thing is, there isn't any obvious function, right? On how to set this. We just return the photo map and it somehow adds that to the reducer. So I will now look for a example, right? Because I don't get that. Auth user. All right, so. Here we go. We have a create action auth auth user. And then we have a state and a payload here. Right. So let's add this. That looks more like it, to be honest. Okay, and then I don't need that. Then I only have to then I have to pick that stuff and put that here. Right. So I don't need that any longer. So we don't have an action any longer, it's just payload, which is nice. Very cool. Don't need the photos flat. New photos group by date. It's not defined. Save. So Right, maybe that works. Um, I don't know if we now actually get the um, the state right. So because I don't see it, and uh, that's an issue. 
because we have the initial state here set like that, which <coughs> makes for me obviously more sense. Um. <coughs> Auth data, right? But it kind of doesn't need auth data. Just works on its own stuff. Right, log in user, log out user. And then he just defines the state and somehow it gets merged. Like what? <coughs> Very, very weird. <laughs> like, honestly, that's super strange. So, we have our auth user. We have access, refresh, and is logged in. And here we say, okay, we have this, we have a slice initial state that is common to all users and can be modified by any user reducer. Okay. But I haven't defined that here auth auth user that's the create action thing what the hell? I hate magic man it's okay here we're importing auth user and then we dispatch the action and then we save this back. Okay. It's so janky, man. Like, how is this easier than the other stuff where you just have reducers in the state and then you have actions? How? I, I don't get it. Okay, so um, the thing I want to have is album by date, right? So that's the state I want to actually change. So let's call it that, right? So that should work. Okay. And then the initial state is, I don't know, man. That's so weird, this whole thing. I really don't know wh wh what to do. Like, that's so annoying. So, slice initial state. So, build slice. Right. So, we have our things here. I also would add, like, I don't know. Fetch by date. And then I have fetch album date. Okay, so I just hope that he automatically gets the state, right? And then it should technically work. So we now have this. That's cool and fine and stuff. Um, now we're going back to the other thing. Save, log out, auth, fetch my albums, image grid. That's also not something I need timeline list, right? 
so that's also just timestamp. So I don't need this patch object apparently. Only I only have to do it like that. Yeah, that whole thing seems a bit over-engineered, to be honest. Like, what? Fetch album date. All right, so... Import. I think something like that should work. Probably not. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, so we get the list right. So getting <coughs> our objects works just fine. But I kind of have the feeling that he didn't reload. So let's reload that manually. Where is my thing? Here we go. Reloading app. Uncaught error. Requiring module store index.js to which through an exception at case. Cannot be called with two reducers for the same action type. I swear to fucking god, this doesn't make. <laughs> Okay, 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 home, React Native, come on. So we have the console warning, that's fine. Store index.js, head case cannot be called with two. So that's basically the magic I talked about, like now it's just doing magic and I don't know what he wants to do. Also, the sun is currently a bit bright. Uh, gotta close the curtains. <laughs> All right. <coughs> so, somehow something adds a case, even though I didn't want that. At all. Um, so in store index JS, so that's store album index JS probably. Right, where are you? No, just store index JS. Okay, so we have basically here also an issue, and that's just okay. <laughs> that's just the general thing where we add all the different stores to it and now he's complaining that we have one thing twice that case cannot be called with two reducers for the same action type oh man not a fan, man, not a fan. Okay, so he is probably complaining about that thing here, right? So let's test that, let's comment that out, save. And now it's loading, all right. So somehow we use the same case for that, which is weird because I kind of feel I'd like I don't. So let's see. Okay, so that's called fetch by date and the other thing is also called, called fetch by date, right? So <coughs> um, we call that fetch album date, right? 
So save. Maybe that works. I don't know. And let's go back to index.js. Let's comment that in again. Save. And um, yeah, let's see. So now it didn't crash, I guess. I don't know. It's somehow I don't see a difference, to be honest. Okay. Awesome. So, it is calling the album thing, right? That's great. Um, now I just have to add the da data that we have there. Oh man, I'm already <laughs> one hour and 16 minutes in. I don't have too much time today, so I don't know if, if I get this done. Um, right. So timeline list has like default props, right? So I don't need that any longer. Timeline list, open folder, folder, no, find files. Right, here we go. That's a lot of stuff we have here. Time with the data refresh, that's stuff we're currently working on photo list container and that is gallery list timeline photos gallery list. and that's state dot gallery list that's interesting because that's not something I have defined uh, gallery list interesting So populate photos. <sighs> okay, use selector and then we have Okay, so it's not really loading anything like that. That's basically what I had before. Reduces, combine reduces, that's something we find there, okay. Build, slice, gallery list, populate photos. So we have this action populate photos, which takes, I guess, timeline photos and then does something with it. So that's our photo mapper. We only add title and data to it, which is not something we want, to be honest. Um, I don't have an issue with title or something like that, but we also need the ID, obviously. Um, so we also need item dot items that so we we sh we sh we still should have like the temp stuff in it so that's fine right so let's see response so we need the id right that's something we need Um, I also need uh, location is not something we need incomplete and number of items Safe. So let's see if we now can actually fetch something. Okay, I have to reload first. Okay, under construction, awesome. 
let's go up here photos and now we still have the issue that cannot read properties of undefined okay that's weird I will go to photos by date now Uh, timeline list. Here we go. So first of all, I have to <laughs> lock this stuff and then we see probably what the issue is. Okay, so let's see. Let's go back to ba -ba 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 -ba, Reactotron and our app and let's see again. Here we go. So we have our visible items. And then we have to go to item, then we have the ID and the title, and then we have the data. And data is URL undefined. Oh, oh God, he, he ma manipulates like the data. That's stupid. And I thought I would have fixed that, but I guess not. Oh no, no, oh, no, no, no. Okay, so. I now want to see if like data is also already manipulated or where that exactly happens, right? Save. Right, so we have here data, we have nine items, and data is already manipulated. Weird. Um, okay, let's see. I thought I fixed that, but I guess not. So timeline list, close others, uh, yeah, sure, save, save. Um, find files, timeline list. So that's gallery list, right? Gallery list, I think we fixed that. Populate photos. Right, I defined that here. So it should have At least I think it should have like stuff in it. then we give him the timeline photos which also makes sense so why are you that way so I guess I can do a Robotron a nee, Reactotron I, I always call it Robotron Reactotron dot lock photo results save okay very cool. So let's see. We will reload this stuff. Then we, uh, I will open this app. I will go here. It loads, and we get the error. So we still only have ID and title, and then we have like IDs in here. That is obviously then smaller. I somehow have the feeling like this isn't actually called, you know? Which is weird because I thought it would be called. Um, gallery list, gallery, gallery list, gallery list. So. I 
combine reduces. That's all fine. I don't get it. So I think I will then do a reactotron here. Reactotron, and then I want to see the payload. Save. Uh, reload. It's weird, it doesn't even get caught, and that's something I don't like get, you know? Because we are definitely using state uh, visible timeline thing. Okay. I guess I will look it up. Populate by day, title or item. Ah, all right, so here it gets janked up. And then we also have like a image grid reducer function that I have to fix, I guess. Okay. So that's not exactly true. It's item.id. Save. Okay. And uh, API response. I want the other thing. Dataless response. Right. Then we have. Yeah, we have no items currently. That is true. This temp item. Right, these are, I think, the things I have to keep in mind. So, at least I now know where to look. So, let's do this again. Reload. Okay, that is loading. Photos. All right. So now we have still still looks like that. But that looks better. ID, title, items, data. Okay, it's something. Um, right. The thing is that visible items is basically called items and then we will do something with that. So we have items, and then we have call, call, we have to call item, right? So let's go back to timeline list. Let's go here. So var group equals group dot item. Save. So that's really hacky, <laughs> but uh, it should work. Okay, uh, then I want that guy. Thanks. Photo. Okay, it's still crashing. I need to take a short break, and then I will uh, try a couple more things, and then I will call it a day because we we made progress, but. It's a bit complicated, more, compli uh, more complicated than I thought it would be. All right, see you in a second.
Yeah, all right. So let's make it a bit brighter. Um, yeah, so what we now have to do is to figure out why it's complaining because it's probably taking the group from here. So I will call this something different. And this is like um, input, right? And then I just do input here like that. So that should work, I think, I hope. Reload, Android emulator. Okay, it's still complaining. Visible items, and then I have the item, right? Five items. Let's see. Why are you complaining? I don't need that any longer. Okay, so let's check this out. Um, reload. Right, I have to call item and then oh, it's probably called something different yes data so that should work i think i hope reload yes fetch album date default is not a function so we now have a different error error that's uh, good i think so let's go here. So what do I have to do to actually call that? That's a good question. Because I don't know. Thing is, do I have like a example or something? That would be great. Build slice, log in user, log out user. All right, I, I will call this and then we will see like um, album slash fetch, right? So what's that fetch people? So how did I call that here? Dispatch fetch people dot action. Okay, and where do I get my dispatch from? Okay, that's just to use dispatch. Okay, very cool. Use dispatch. Where do I get this? Use dispatch React Redux. Okay, very cool. I don't need that. I think. Then I will do a dispatch. Dot action. Right? Um, no, like, yeah. Okay. Very cool. It looks like to me like that could be probably be something. Um, Let's do this. I still get a different thing. Fetch album date default is not a function. Okay. All right. It's called. It's called the other way, way around. Dispatch. Fetch. Okay. Like that.
No, still not. So when that doesn't work, then I guess I have to do it like that. Right, save. <laughs> really trying to figure out everything. React hook use effect has a missing dependency dispatch. Either include it or remove it from the dependency array. Okay, dispatch. Cool. Okay, let's do this. Cannot read properties of undefined. Ooh, awesome. That's a different error, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I thought I already fixed that, to be honest. Group dot data. What is happening? ID zero URL undefined is term true. Oh, okay. So I think I'm I actually called something. Okay, note, reload, very weird, let's clear everything, okay. And it's not reacting and I don't know why, reload, yes, okay, and again, he doesn't do anything. Oh man, I mean, I make progress, but it's yeah, it's a bit slow for my taste. Okay, do I get like anything reload app? Maybe that will work. No, it just stays the same, reload. Now it loads again, but it's not taking any input. That works, click here just crashes <laughs> but I haven't even changed anything oh no um. okay that also works Do you know work? No, also not. Okay, so I think I will close that down and restart everything. Annoying, really annoying. Okay, stop that, yes. And start again. Okay, it's building the app again, so that's why it's not reacting now. That's fine. 
Um, yeah. I just want to check out if it works or not, or if I have to change anything, you know? And now it loads again, are you kidding me? Alright, we got a similar issue like before. Waiting for connection. So it doesn't connect if we're not in debug mode, I guess. So let's change this up again. Debug. Okay. And now we also get something here. Nice. All right. Uh, and let's click here. And we get the cannot read stuff. So, um, we somehow get like weird items, right? So, we kind of only want, so what, what it basically does is that it, it shows us all the elements, but we currently only want to know um, the groups, right? So not really we don't really care about anything else so I have to do some cleanup I guess so right So cannot filter undefined, right? So what we have to do is visible groups and 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 that's ba basically it. And now it should filter everything that isn't a group out out of there. So timeline. Uh, not visible groups, visible images. Sorry about that. So only if it's not undefined, then we do something. Uh, let's see. Do I have to reload? No, I guess not. All right. So now we had like a lot of things in here. A lot of refreshes. So that's interesting. Set item. API response. Token refresh. It doesn't look like he actually calls anything, so that's weird. Um, reload. I kind of have the feeling that <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, and I don't know why. Okay. Um, let's do a Robotron. I am here. A Rectotron. Like. <laughs> I am here. Save. Okay. Let's. Reload. <laughs> it 
I am here. So we definitely are there. So that's not the issue. And he detects three groups. So that also works. Right, so. So what we do, what we're doing now is we're looking for elements that has is temp. Right, so let's see. In item data, is temp true? So that should also work, I guess. Um, right. Robotron, no, Reactotron, like <laughs> Reactotron, lock first temp object. So if we find one, then we fetch something. Reload. Right, so we definitely get something and we have an undefined, it's a is temp, so that's great, you know. And uh, I think zero is also the right iteration, right? Boo, boo, boo. Yes, it starts with, 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 uh, with zero item, data one, zero. All right, cool, very, very cool. Let's see. So that's also working. So now I guess I have to check if that actually gets called Reactotron log group ID and Reactotron log group dot page right because we set we set the group and then we should technically call something reload photos yes so that also works the issue is that we're calling fetch album action, but he doesn't do anything. That's weird. Um, right, because I would think that we actually load something, right? Because if we click on... Duh, 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 duh. So I think we're also technically in here, right? So if I go here and do a group ID thingy that also works I guess and then we go here reload and we go here photos then we get a group ID so technically he should dispatch three things right because that's all in here go to definition then we have the album fetch album date, right? And then we have arcs. And then something should happen here. So reload. So we also, no, this patch doesn't dispatch anything. Are you kidding me? Okay, I have to import that. Probably that's the reason why we don't see anything. Back to Tron, right? Save. Okay, so again, we are in the group, 
but nothing happens. Which is weird. So let's go here, I guess. Save. So technically we should now go through all these things and then something should happen. Right? Um, so let's see. Reload. And nothing happens. Amazing. Hmm. So the issue could be that we don't actually get anything from the arcs. That could be one issue. What do we have else there? We have also K. All right. Interesting. Save. Um, yeah, maybe it crashes silently, which it shouldn't, but maybe it does. Debug, and then I get dispatch, dispatch, album, date, page. So I always get first that and then I get that. So that's basically the dispatch and stuff like that. All right, so arcs equals that. So that's nice. Save. Um, I think I can just call that options, options. Very cool. So that should work. Options, yes. Save. Okay, so let's reload again. Check this out. What is happening? What, what, what is miss? Reload. Yeah. Okay. That also works, right? So now we have the the options here. But somehow return await API does not call anything. Okay, so we also get now an hello. That's good. So that also works. So now we basically also call also call API, right? And there should be right, here we go. We have API responses. Very, very cool. So and then we get the URL and stuff like that. Okay, I think we're getting there. But if we go here, it's still empty. Okay, so let's go here, I guess.
save, reload. So right. So that all works now. So we, we do our stuff here and then we should technically go in here. At least that's how I read it. But the issue is that we don't, right? So we get our nice API responses on load, switch is nice. Um, but nothing and that's not good mm. all right so oh man I'm, <laughs> I'm hitting the two hour mark I wanted to take it slow but um, I guess not so I think in fetch people fetch person photos right there we have like the stuff. Okay, and then we call a second action with populate photos, go to definition, that's in here. And uh, I don't get it. And then we have like that, right? So. <sighs> this patch, populate photos, and then we set these things. And then he magically does it. That's weird. Photo clear person. Create action. Then we have a reducer. Right. So. If I now go to fetch album date. Then we have here a reducer with the state and the payload. But that gets never called. Even though we call the action, right? Um, and after that I want to re reduce stuff. Huh. Redux toolkit. Fetch and reduce. Please just give me code. Yes, configure store. That's not my issue. We already have a store. I just want that it gets called. Initial state, post slice. Right, and then we have name, post, and initial state, and we have a reducer. So, close that. Index. Dot reducer. I don't know what that means, to be honest. So we do have an initial state, we have our actions, we have our album, but why isn't it calling it? Ah.
Build slices wrapper of create slice. But I don't have any reducers. This is what I find weird, right? So. <laughs> Create slice, yes. So. But we use build slice and then it's somehow different. Oh no. Right. User. Then we have a fetch one and then we have that and then we call it dot reducer. I don't really know what it does and it's like kind of confusing me to be honest. So we have an initial state, yes. Then we have fetch thingies and then we have reducer. Can I just add a reducer to that? Array of all modules. But it's not clear what modules is, to be honest. Initial state, action. Right. then reducer it looks like build async actions calls to create async thunk and the payload creator should return a promise Okay. I don't know what an async reducer is. God damn it. Like, what? Build async reducers. Initial state, build async state, right. But what the hell does that do? It's like, I, I don't get how that should be easier than just using Redux. Like, what? I'm very close to that, just throwing that out in the long term. <laughs> like, that's some over-engineered bullshit. Right, so arcs and then we have a dispatch. React, what was it called? Redux Toolkit Wrapper. Like, it's also like not very much used. I don't know how people actually find this package.
like seriously it has like 14 19 stars it exactly behaves like that to be honest um, so action with reducer how do I use it Like, really not a fan. A utility function to create an action creator for the given action type string. The action creator accepts a single argument which will be included in the action object as a field called payload. The action creator function will also have... Okay. What the heck, bro? So that can definitely just call that, so that's cool. Right, build async reducer. I will use that again, maybe that will work somehow, I don't know. So, or maybe I will just look that up. So that should work with something, right? Find and fields, clear album data, index. Return this patch to action. So that works, right? But then I never get in here. So let's see again. Reduces state payload. Save. So instead of using that, I will just use create action, I guess. And now that should be fine. Save, uh, reload. Let's see. So we're calling these, but we never go into the reducer. Okay. Create action, Redux.js toolkit. Okay. Let's throw that out. Let's put that here. Create action. That still works. Okay, cool. I don't know why I need this async thing. Oh no, it's crashing again. Technology. All right. Very sad. Um, 
Let's close this up. Right, uh, here we go. Close. Close. Yep. Yeah, on Android. Oh no. What? Two hours and twelve. Oh god damn it. That's definitely the longest stream I made, I think. But I'm so close, I just want to see what's what the issue is, you know. Connecting to debugger. All right, so that worked, I guess. So let's check this out. Reactotron still has it. Yes, I think so. Very cool. Let's go here. Oh, yeah. So finally, we have everything I want. So state album by date is a thing. That is very good, but payload is undefined. So, said album by date is exactly what we want, but we don't get the payload yet. <laughs> um, Redux.js toolkit create action. So let's Google that. Create action. So close, so close. I return and then I have a type and then a payload, I guess. But what if I'm already in the function? Okay, let action, action increment three. Function prepare, right. Okay, and then I just return a payload. Okay. So we have payload date photo group right and then we have page page what else do we have save um Okay, um, page isn't a thing. Options dot page, I think, right? Yes, here we go. Uh, okay, so we have the page. Then we also need the ID, but we already have that, I guess, with date photo group. Payload items, yes. Right, I think that's all I need. Awesome. 
Okay, let's see if that works. Reload. Here we go. Okay. And uh, it's still undefined. What? That's very interesting. I think I can call that also action or something like that. And then we should also see something, I guess. I just want to see what he actually gives me, right? And then I can also debug this. Okay, so reload. So, payload undefined. Okay, why the heck is payload undefined? I don't get it. Album fetch, album date. Alright, I think I need to have like two actions. So, I will w have fetch and then I will have... I don't know. Replace something. call this here payload again payload all right and then I need that and that uh, no okie dokie I don't need that I guess that is still needed right replace album date then I will do a this patch um, type album slash replace album date. Don't need a return. Uh, that is also not needed, I guess. That's something like that. This patch. Uh, yeah, all right. And uh, this will never be actually called. So I don't know what to do about that, to be honest. So 
So let's just do nothing here. And then I have to look up that again. So I think I'm just going to do a dispatch and then replace album date action like that and then I put the payload object in here, right? I don't know. Feels very weird. Like that I guess. Yeah. Cool. Dispatch is not defined. I don't know. So where did I get this purge? Okay. It's just right, it's in the in the function, I forgot. Uh, fetch album date, async option, and that's uh, dispatch. Right, and then I do that. Let's see if this works. I don't know. Reload. Possible unhandled promise rejection. Oh, okay. I still have to clear that. So we dispatch then here. And we don't do anything in the reduces. And uh, here in replace album date. I want to right. Load, I guess. Okay. Okay, last try for today and then I will quit. <laughs> because like I'm really over time. Over the time. Alright, so... Don't see anything. Okay, he complains about unhandled promise rejection. Something went wrong. I think we're on the right track to like... Um, drag all the stuff um, to different things so that is fine the thing is that 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 here that thing here never gets called right so create async action right that was also also a also thing I don't know I don't know create action create action I 
like that. Um, there's a lot of stuff I still have to check out. It's like really, it's not clear what, what to do. But uh, yeah, I think we're, we're going to figure that out next time. All right, see you, see you then. Bye.